what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the father's house. There I will give you my message. I went down to the father's house and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort pleased him. Then the word of the Lord came to me, can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord. Indeed, the clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Blessed is he who help, whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he. Put not your trust in princes, in the sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth, so that they his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he Our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore. 
and sit down to put what is good into bad buckets. What is bad they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be welling and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Just one or two things I would like to remind ourselves that when we finish Mass every morning or any time we have Mass, we please must all leave. We have to vacate this place. So the people who help us with disinfecting the place, we do it immediately so that other people who come in to maybe pray quietly may have that opportunity of uh, being in a place we feel it is safe for them to be. So after Mass, I would expect, we expect people to leave after you conclude your prayers, please. So we take care of here. Uh, Normally, our church doors are open from after mass until 2 p.m. So people come in here to pray. So we wanna make sure after mass, those who attended mass would leave and we take care of here. Again, there are signs, but I know that people don't read, or, but we still have them there. For, for us to be able to live stream this mass for people who joined us from home, your cell phone must be turned off completely it interferes with the signal. So sometimes it's wobbly, they don't see what is blurry. So that's part of, the, part of the problem. So when you come in, please, your cell phone, not silenced, but off completely. So we can help other people at home be able to join us and pray together. In the uh, first reading today, we hear Jeremiah the prophet The word of God came to him and said, Jeremiah, I want you to go to a potter's house. A potter is a craftsperson, man or woman who uses hands, uses clay to mold and fashion whatever objects he or she has in mind. So we know we have uh, things that we use for flowers and uh, plants, so that's the concept. So in the traditional days, you go to maybe a blacksmith's house, you see what they do with the fire. They fabricate things, you know, using their ingenuity and hands and their materials. So in the potter's house, you see um, what they do, they're busy using their mind and everything to create, to create. So Jeremiah was asked by, the, by God, go over there and look at him. So Jeremiah was wondering, why am I going to a potter's house? I don't need any kind of uh, thing from him, but let me obey the Lord, he went. So from observation he saw what the potter was doing, how he would mix everything, it comes together, sometimes they don't come together, 
and uh, it's not what he intended to produce, he will start all over. The hands of a potter, making clear, if he's not going to turn out good what he expects, then he does something else. So he said to Jeremiah, would should that not be my relationship with the people of Israel? That they would let me, the potter, use them to mold them into who I want them to be. So Jeremiah went back home and prophesied this to the people of Israel. It's both a statement and it's both a question. Would you not let me? And we see in the gospel that's also what Jesus was doing. When the disciples and the apostles would be thinking about, um, you know, their own agendas and have their um, so-called ambitions, what they want to be, who they want to be. One in the kingdom of God, I want to be at your right, at your left. So they argue around themselves, within themselves, among themselves, about who is number one, who is the greatest. And Jesus would call them together, invite a little kid and said, watch this little kid. If you are not like him, allow me to mold you, to shape you, to form you, to transform you. You cannot be my disciple. Is that not a similar analogy with the potter? And that's what Jesus does to us every day. But sometimes we rebel. We are rebellious. Yes, human beings are rebellious. We rebel. We want our own mind, our own way, you know, our own ambitions. Sometimes they're you know, there's a dichotomy between our ambitions and what we want from what God wants us to become. We struggle with this. It is a tension of our lives to do my will or to do God's will. Yes, sometimes we come closer, we get it right, sometimes we are over there. But the Lord continues to invite us back. And is that not the same thing we do at Mass when we come in to listen to his word and participate in the Eucharist, the body and blood of Jesus, that, so that he will give us the food that we need to get on every day, striving to do his will. Brothers and sisters, may we always remind ourselves the imagery of being clear in the hands of God. Jesus shaped, molded, transformed the apostles and their lives changed forever. We present our needs and our prayers before God our Father. For the church, may she be continually blessed with the abundance of divine goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ, the truth, and the resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those suffering from the loss of a loved one, may our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow. We pray to the Lord. For the young people of our faith community, may God guide and protect them amid the pressures in their lives. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the 
intention for the eternal repose of Fai Sovil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear prayers. Almighty ever living God, eternal health of believers, you always forgive the sins of those who confess to you. We offer you the repentance of our contrite hearts. Hear our prayers for your servants who are sick. Grant them, we implore you, your merciful help. For because of human frailty, we cannot stand firm amid such great dangers. May your children overcome with your help the contagion of the devil. Drive out in your compassion the evil of COVID-19. Lighten your children's burdens from this deadly plague and affliction. For the frontline workers, we ask for your protection and mercy, O Lord. Assist all those dedicated to the care of the sick. Strengthen them in your loving kindness. For the sick, may your healing power come upon your suffering children. Expel the afflictions of mind and body and restore them to full health. Support them with your power. Comfort them with your protection. For the dying, look kindly on your servants in their final struggle, so that united to your son's passion and sealed with his blood, they may come without blemish to your presence. For the dead, hear our prayers for those who have died. As you have destroyed our death, O God, by the death of your only begotten Son, grant eternal repose to our brothers and sisters. We come to you, our Blessed Mother. We, your children of every nation, turn to you in this pandemic. Our troubles are numerous. Our fears are great. Grant that we might deposit them at your feet, take refuge in your immaculate heart, and obtain peace, healing, rescue, and timely help in all our needs. You are our mother the comforter of the afflicted. St. Peter Chrysologos, pray for us. We ask this to Christ the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion prayer, we pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Dwelling.